Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Security. National Assembly told fast way to remove Buhari from office. Buhari must go now. Hello, wonderful people. Did you hear that a PDP senator in the House who raised the motion that Buhari should be impeached is now being considered to be removed as a senator, just for you to know. We'll bring you up to date and full details on all that. But right now, the National Assembly has been told the fast way, the fastest way to remove Buhari from office with regards to a lot of insecurity going on presently now in the country. Did you know that some people were traveling and the full bus, the passengers and the bus, drivers and everybody was kidnapped? Huh. You don't hear about it because the figures are not in their hundreds. A lot is going on currently in this country. Let's carry on and get all the details. Insecurity. National Assembly told fast way to remove Buhari from office. Olushegu Badmos, a chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, has called on the National Assembly to amend the Constitution to provide for the call of the president by those who vote for him. According to the frontline lawyer, considering the spark of insecurity in the country and the lackadaisical attitude of the government to nip it in the board, it has become necessary and imperative to amend the constitution of Nigeria to make a provision so that this man can get out of the way. In a chat with Daily Post on Tuesday, Badmos noted that if the constitution provided for the recall of any member of the National Assembly, same should be extended to the executive, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So there is part in the constitution with which uh, Femi Bajibamila was threatened when they told him that he they would take him out of office uh, since he called the president to answer questions on insecurity. There is such provision in our constitution that says when a house member, speaker, or whoever you are, have not done things, fulfill some certain requirements, on that subsession, 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 the person can be removed. So that was what Bajuk Bamila was threatened with. So this is what uh, uh, Badmos is talking about. The constitution provides for the recall of member of the National Assembly. Same should be extended to the executive, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The senior lawyer who is hoping to take over at the ASO Rock 2023 further noted with the procured provision of, by, the provision, by the constitution, it will be easy to impeach on seat the president, which is almost impossible currently now with the current constitution we have. It is a difficult task to impeach the president in view of the condition laid down in our constitution. There should be alternative to this. The constitution should be amended to provide for the recall of the president by those who voted for him. He said, according to Badmos, President Buhari is due to recall by the electorate if the constitution has provided for it. I wonder how Nigerian can cope with Buhari's presidency for another 30 months. It is like spending 30 months in hell. Lives and properties of Nigerians are now at the mercy of the B-boys, insurgents, bandits, kidnapping, gunmen, to mention but a few. May God deliver us. Our life can no longer be guaranteed in the hands of this government for safekeeping in terms of security. Those in their houses are not safe. Those traveling are not either. Recall what has been going on, how kidnappers have been taking people, even with the bus and the full load of people. Farmers can no longer harvest or go to their farms. Work, at, work of farmers is now being permanently in the hands of the military. When will they get military to go with them to the farm? We are currently living in hell. All our president does is to send condolences and pretend like he's ever consigned with what is going on. This is certainly not the best of times for Nigerians. We have certainly become scam, a scam in the hands of APC. We have been trapped by the promises of change. This is so sad. 
was this the change we had promised in 2015? No doubt, if the impeachment of Buhari were left in the hands of Nigerians, by now it would have long be removed. One wonder how Nigerians will survive another 30 months of this Buhari's administration. It is clear that politicians in this country are selfish. They make and they amend the constitution all in a bid to favor them and not care, no position at all for the masses or what they feel or care about. Nigerians have been bridged up for the challenges ahead. Nigerians are fed up with Buhari's administration. Ask every man on the streets. Nobody has a good word. Everyone will sigh, bend their head, or shake it. It's a common phenomenon. The promise of change that we were once expecting, the crisis we expected as divided democracy, but difficulty, most difficultly, is the experience of day-to-day -day activities that goes on in the country. International setting, I've rather seen Nigeria in a laughing stock, once giant of Africa, now in their shadows. May God deliver us from this government. Give us the excuse of paradigm. Nigeria never bargained for this. This was not the change we were all expecting. It is high time we all stand up, make a decisive change in our constitution, amend it in such a way that Nigerians can be saved from this present predicament called government. So this is bad moss who is saying to Nigerians, it's about time we get the change we once deserved. I never knew that in Nigerian constitution, there is nowhere that gives opportunity for the president of the country to be recalled in, the, in, the, in these scenarios of not performance on what is currently on ground. What they have done when they were amending the 1999 constitution, cleverly and wickedly, they have fortified positions for themselves, so much so that nobody can remove them from office. Can't you see what is going on? Even in states at state level, take for instance, we have the likes of Ibori and Lucky Benedio, who before they left as governors of their states, made sure that they made provision for them throughout their lifetime to constantly be paid, be paid being given to them. Not just to them, but to their aides and the, 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 that state, we continue to facilitate and make provision for them all through their livelihood, all through as much as their life. This is what the federal government of Nigeria has also done. It is high time, Nigerians, that we all stand up and look at this constitution cleverly and together. What is really wrong? Where have we gone wrong? How can it be amended so that everyone can have a pleasant lease of life? In today's Nigeria, we need God. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely day. For us, it's bye for now. Don't forget to enjoy your Christmas. Bye.